Hey everybody, so you're looking at the Chewy Aero book. So this is the newest laptop from Chewy. They are a company based in Shenzhen that makes tablets and laptops. Um, this was on crowdfunding for a while, but now it's it's finalized. This is the retail version I have on me here. It sells for about $450 US dollars or $400 depending on the deal. So the price fluctuates, but it's in the $400 to $450 range. And at this price range, I, I'm a fan of this laptop. I think it's really well built and it's moderately powerful. And as you can see the screen here, it's pretty nice. It's not as bezel-less as a Huawei MateBook X, but you know, that laptop is like more than double the price. So we'll go over the specs really quick. So the display you see here, it's a 13.3 inch IPS LCD panel. It's not a touch screen. It's just a regular panel with resolution of 1920 by 1080. So that's a little bit more than 1080p. But it's a relatively large screen, so the PPI isn't super dense. But with that said, as you can see here, the screen looks pretty good. Viewing angles are pretty nice. And I can use this outdoors without much issues. Max brightness, let's go max brightness for now. It's pretty good for, uh, really good for indoors. Outdoors, it's not too bad. It can't compare it to like a top tier laptop again, but this is 450 bucks. So the chipset inside, it's an Intel Core M3 6Y30. So this is a dual core processor clocked at 2.2 gigahertz and it's been fine so far. I mean, obviously I don't think you can play heavy games on this, but day to day, normal productivity in terms of surfing the web, sending emails, going on Facebook, all that will have absolutely no issue. This is a pretty nice productivity machine. And I say that because this keyboard is awesome. So as you can see here, I have the MacBook Pro 2018 and the Huawei MateBook X right there. And the MacBook Pro's keyboard just sucks. The butterfly keyboard it frustrates the hell out of me. This keyboard, it's really damn good. About on par with the Huawei MateBook X's very excellent keyboard. Now this trackpad right here, it's a little bit smaller than I like, but still it's, it's precision. It uses Windows precision driver. So I'm still able to get around it very easily without a lot of accidental touch. But I do wish the trackpad was a little bit bigger because I've been used to large trackpads on the Huawei and Apple laptops. Now the battery inside is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is uh, not great. So this laptop, I found, I found that it cannot last me a full workday. So if I'm plugging at 100%, after six hours of regular use with the screen on and just opening tabs and chat apps, the battery will already be kind of down to like the crucial critical 10% mark. So this is a laptop that you will need to charge if you plan on taking it all out and about for full workday. The good news is you can charge via USB-C. Now there's also a proprietary DC charging port, but that sucks. I wouldn't even use that shit. Just charge this laptop via the USB-C. So speaking of ports, this laptop gives you a pretty good selection. So you have the aforementioned USB-C for data transfer and power delivery, HDMI out, this is a DC port to charge the laptop if you can't use USB-C. And you have a USB 3.0 plug right here. And now on the other side, you also have a, you have another USB 3.0, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and right here, an SD card reader. So that's nice for me to get an SD card reader because I take photos with my um, Sony A6500 sometimes. And when I wanna transfer the photos to the Apple Mapper Pro or the Huawei MateBook X, I have to use a card reader. This one, no dongle necessary. Now back to the keyboards, I forgot to mention, these keys are very nice. They offer a lot of travel. There's about 1.5 millimeters of travel and I can type on this very accurately, very easily. This is an awesome keyboard, much, much better than Apple's crappy butterfly keyboard. And the keyboards are also backlit with two levels of lighting. So you can use this laptop at night without any issues. In terms of speakers, sound comes out from right here, this hinge. And uh, the sound is not too bad. I mean, I, let's play something really quick. So we'll go up to 100% volume. So this is a pretty good speaker. As you can see, the screen is very reflective. It's a little bit glossy and it is kind of problematic outdoors, but I guess if you get an anti-glare screen protector, that would fix the issue. But let's do one more video test because you know what we gotta do. We can't just watch NBA for a video test. We so we'll go up to 100% volume.
So yeah, the speaker is very loud. You even hear a little bit of bass. It's overall, it's a good speaker. So even at 40% 40, 40 volume right now, it's more than good enough. This is awesome. So see, colors are very vibrant on this display. And you look at the keyboard, they have uh, no shortage of shortcut buttons here, including buttons for brightness and volume lockers. So the overall design is pretty nice. Like the outer layer, it's aluminum. Very nicely made, feels pretty sturdy. This device weighs about 1.3 kg, so that's like uh, almost three pounds for Americans. I think it's like 2.8 pounds. Very easy to hold. And you know what? Put it side by side with a Huawei MateBook X. I mean, they feel very similar. It's not like you can tell that Chewy's craftsmanship is inferior to Huawei's. And again, the Huawei laptop is quite a bit more expensive. Now, of course, that's on the outside. When you open it up, the Huawei laptop has a bezel-less screen that just looks stunning. But I think Chewy's display at 400 bucks, can't really complain. So in terms of software, um, this laptop runs Windows 10. It comes pre-installed in the laptop and you don't need to register anything. So everything's ready to go. And I found that there's been not, no bloatware. So it's pretty nice, pretty solid user experience. All right, let's check out the hinge. So the hinge is pretty sturdy. It's not as like stiff as a MacBook Pro hinge, but it's still good enough. Like when you're typing, You'll see a little bit of wobbling, but not too bad. And it opens up this wide. So it doesn't open up super wide. I've seen laptops that go a little bit uh, lower. I wish this goes a little bit lower, but this should be good enough. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this processor, the Intel Core M3 is about two years old. So when you're gaming, like, like, I, I gotta admit, I'm not a hardcore PC gamer. So I would suggest you turn to Tech Tablets. That's an excellent channel if you wanna see how this laptop performs for gaming. I think Chris from Tech Tablets did a test and he was able to play most games on it just fine, even graphically intensive games. But even for my testing, I played real racing here and I had no issues. The laptop did heat up a little bit after about 10 minutes, but for the most part, gaming, basic gaming on this is fine. I don't recommend you buy this for hardcore gaming, obviously. And to be honest, if you're paying this price, what can you expect anyway? I just think 450 bucks, this is a really, nicely built really solid laptop for productivity so if you're a student on a budget you don't want to pay huawei or apple prices or if you're like a business person who travels a lot and just want a laptop that lets you send email and open web meetings and all that i think that's fine speaking of web meetings so the selfie camera is up here we'll open up and test the quality really quick i believe the camera quality isn't that good Okay, so as you can see here, this is the camera. Let's record something. Hey, hello, testing. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I believe there are two mics on this laptop. This is definitely 720p resolution video. So, you know, not that great. I look a little bit blurry. Two mics on this laptop. This is definitely... Hello, testing. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I believe there are two mics on this laptop. This is definitely 720p resolution video. So... So yeah, this is, I guess, serviceable for business meetings, but you wouldn't want to vlog with this. So back to the performance a little bit more. I found that if I can open like up to like eight or nine tabs on Chrome and it will operate just fine. But when I get past 10, if I get to like 12, then I start seeing a little bit of stuttering. And also when you watch 4K YouTube videos, this laptop just cannot handle 4K. It really struggles. So we'll go up to 4K really quick. When you go up to 4K, you'll see, see drop frames and just very choppy. You see, it's like, it's just unwatchable at 4K. And just very choppy. But if you jump back down to 1080, let's try 1080 60. Okay, 1080 60 is running fine and this looks pretty nice. Okay, so the colors on the NBA video look a little bit washed out, but I think that's because of how that guy coded that video, not because of the screen. Because if we go back to something a little bit more vibrant, like Mad Max Fury Road or Blackpink videos, this display looks great. Okay, yeah, so that's about it for this quick first look of the Chewy Aerobook. If there's anything you would like to know, please leave some questions in the comment and I'll try my best to answer them. In my opinion, 450 bucks, pretty decent laptop if you need to get work done. 
That's it for now. Thanks for watching.